Hello, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here with uh, um, like like an idea that I've had for like uh, a little bit now. Um, uh, I kind of feel like in the future, when robotics, when robots and androids start to become more normal in people's lives, like I kind of feel like um, people will start designing and wanting pro professional people, um, professional body body work to be done on the robot you know from head to toe like you would with a car or a motorcycle like uh, for instance this this right here is kind of like an example of how like a like you could make your robot look like as nice as a vehicle you know like as nice and as really you know having the the head have you know so much shine and style to it and having just intricacy to it and just kind of like you're making your your car your robot as nicely polished and nice looking as you would a vehicle you know because robots basically they're all going to be metal skins and metal exoskeletons anyways so they're going to be like you could paint them like you would with the vehicle and design and have paint job be done on your personal robot you know your own little buddy robot and have them be all like nice and nicely done and look like this you could make them look like this or something similar to the design like this like a vehicle nice polished looking like a robot looking nice like this something like this you know uh, or something similar to like something like this you know see this is a real nice looking this is how like a, I think a robot will probably look but best as something like this like see different colors you know like you'll be you'll be making your robot look good and stuff you know, your little android friend looking good. And I think that in the future, robots are going to be more personalized to each individual. And they're going to be show, they're going to show them off like in car shows and things like that, perhaps. Maybe, you know. And there's no limits on what kind of designs you want to do on your robot. Depending on the, the, the structure and the build of the robot, you know. You can make them look as good as that or this and, and just like I said any colors any type of shapes anything this right here looks like a robot face right here and uh, you know just like things like this like different things this is a nice red right here and just like just using uh, you know showing off your robot you know getting comfortable showing off your robot if things remain the same the way society is you know the way that things are now the way we think then we'll use robots in a way that's more show offy but unless we change the way we think and feel of ourselves and the way you know uh we treat each other more more uh more lovingly maybe we won't show off robots like in this manner you know but uh because i think that showing vehicles and stuff car shows and stuff like that showing your robot in car shows or something i have a robot show off uh robot show or something um, it's kind of like, uh, depending if it's positive people, positive environment, it's not a bad thing to think of, you know, a good concept to have your robot look as nice as a vehicle. But, um, yeah, I think that in the future, robots are going to look as good. And you could personalize your own Android, purchase them for like 10 grand and then custom and then take it to like a, uh, get someone to do a custom paint job, make your own designs. And also, like I said in my other video, you can also, um, use a robot you can also you know how like in some vehicles they use they have wood inside they have real wood on the dashboard you can also put real wood on the head of your robot and have that nice maple wood or some kind of real nice expensive wood be in you know have a nice and grain or have a nice and polished wood uh and put that on the robot's head on the cranium you know to kind of make a little design of the head around the eyes or something like that and have it paint around nice dark like this a nice gray like this you know and uh that's just certain ideas that i've had that eventually in the future if we get comfortable robots they're gonna start looking as nice as this you know and it's coming straight from me i'm pretty sure this will happen end up being happening and also too i wanted to tell about uh an idea that i've had about i think i spoke to this about the other video about um like hover sphere electronic uh spheres that hover and uh, they're like small computers. And I think I spoke about this in the, my ideas about movies and holographic technology and all that stuff. 
that you can you you could have a hovering sphere that floats around and this is probably more practical than even building a robot is just having a a sphere that floats around and projects a holographic image in midair and and depending on how how high of a what te what technique we use to project the holographic image what technology we use nanotechnology or whatever like we could have the image be solid looking it doesn't have to be transparent like you see in movies like holograms are always transparent and they always flicker but we could have the hologram be more solid and the the holo the holographic the, the holographic um hovering ball could project these images and all inside the ball could be just a very complex chip driven computer that floats and hovers and projects anything you could pre you, you know it's kind of crazy to think but you could you, you could you could actually project an image of Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales or you know uh, Leonardo from Ninja Turtles and because of the complexity and, and you could apply an artificial intelligence to that holographic image you could have uh, you could have just like when you talk to uh, like nowadays we're having more high tech where like we're able to talk to um, a fake person on the computer and they're able to respond in a, an emotional way and almost act like they're thinking so as it touch as artificial technology gets more advanced we could apply the artificial technology to that holographic image of Scrooge McDuck or Leonardo from Ninja Turtles the cartoon and when you ask that holographic image a question because the hover because all the information is coming from this ball and the and there's there's sensors and there's a uh, there's a microphone in it and all that's all you're speaking into it from a distance you're speaking directly to the hologram but everything is being picked up by the hovering ball and it's processing all the information like a brain and and it's basically it's playing and, and, and it's basically it's calculating how to respond so the proper response to your question is going to be projected onto the image back onto the image of Scrooge McDuck you know creating an artificial uh, representation of thinking about your question so Scrooge McDuck so then that's going to be projected and it's going to show Scrooge McDuck thinking about asking him if he wants to go out to have a beer or something like that you know then the the technology is going to be so advanced that the projection of holographic of uh, holographic Scrooge McDuck is going to well is going to talk back and say yes let's go and uh, you know you could also you could actually have the holographic ball project that image and have him almost live with you day after day you know like you're not going to turn off the holographic ball you're going to have this holographic Scrooge McDuck living and seeing and 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 being emotionally involved in your life you know like Scrooge McDuck's Scrooge McDuck is going to be seen as though he's looking at the objects in your environment but what's really happening is that the sensors the camera inside the holographic sphere is going to be looking at the environment and it's going to be calculating all that all the obstacles and it's going to create an emotional response an intelligent emotional response a human type response going to calculate it inside the brain of the ball and then it's going to project that appropriate uh, reaction onto the Scrooge McDuck so it's all gonna calculate and it's gonna pick up uh, the appropriate response of how Scrooge McDuck would would react to a car crash outside of your house or yelling and screaming or violence or something like that so you could actually live with Leonardo for Ninja Turtles day by day and as Scrooge McDuck be sitting because the ball could project the cartoon characters or anything you want sitting because it's floating it could project and make it seem as though it's sitting on a chair, uh, you know, um, um, and walking beside you because it's gonna be floating around and it's gonna be projecting this holographic image in midair, and that could be also good for kids and other things like that. And that that's a uh, like a real friend, you know. That's something that's probably more practical than anything else. But I think maybe maybe the the holographic image could be probably be like you know something in the home that could be just built in in the wall where you could just project the image on the wall like this has been seen I think in some movies I think but now that we're so close and all you need to do really is just to have the technology and have a real super brain computer and projecting the image that 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 image could be just intelligent but I'll recommend the the, pe the people who produce this idea not to release the technology too soon 
you know, release technology when it's perfected 100%. Don't let the general public see the baby steps of the advancement of the technology. You know, there's going to be glitches sometimes with the first, with the first, uh, with the first model, you know, with the first, uh, with the first prototypes and all that. Uh, the technology is going to be, uh, people are going to notice that it's not real. The responses are not real. There's too much time, uh, too much glitches, too much, too much, uh, just too much calculations. It's going to be artificial, way too artificial. And I would tell them to focus more on the work on it and refining it and making it real life, human like. The holographic image, human like. And using now technology, we could actually, or Pico technology or whatever, getting more smaller, we could actually, uh, we don't even need to even really build a robot. You know, we could just have a holographic image be everything that we want. We could actually use a holographic image and create a vehicle because we could actually not, we could use now technology and sit on the nanos. Sit on this because it's gonna be a cloud of nanobots, which is gonna be like so much you know what you know. But just an idea, we could actually sit on the nanobots as a seat, and these nanobots could transform into anything and swish and swashle into anything and uh we could actually create a holographic car and drive the car we could we could create a ho holographic weapon and solid hard weapon we could create a lot of things we don't even we don't even need to really create even real objects anymore with now technology and holographic, holographic technology that will be enough you know this is this is just an idea you know now technology is going to make our dreams come true that's one thing that's for sure it's going to make our wild dreams come true but again, this is Ricky Suspicious. Thank you a lot for listening. Uh, this is my idea for how well androids are going to be affected in our life and how we're going to stylize them in our lives. Like we do with car show and vehicles and um, taking on to be, get custom, custom paint jobs on them and all that. Candy apple red and all that and the robot. And uh, and how um, holographic technology with the little floating sphere, you could actually project Scrooge McDuff and DuckTales to be a real life cartoon that lives with you day by day. That's just awesome. You know, that that is possible, but it's up to an individual to just have heart and just put their work into it and just do it. That's all. There's there's no limits. But again, it's Rick's Space. Thank you for for watching my video. Just an idea.